Hey, what's up guys? Mittens here with another Rocket League video. Now, recently I've been seeing some comments about my camera settings and my controller settings. So I figured I'd do a video today kind of tackling all of my settings in Rocket League. And uh, I'll even have my, my computer specs and my monitor specs in the description if you want to check that out as well. So, hope you enjoy. So here are my camera settings. Uh, you can see I have 110 field of view, 230 distance, 110 height, minus five ankle, and 0 0.65 stiffness, and swivel speed 320, but I mean, matter. Um, yeah, like I would say to, you can use this, I mean, obviously, but I would say to try to find a camera that suits you, like that you're comfortable with. Um, because I mean p players are amazing with all sorts of types of cameras because eventually you realize like me I used to copy like pro players cameras all the time and eventually I just created my own because it felt more comfortable to me and it allows me to play up to my potential so these are my camera settings um, but I suggest tweaking trying to tweak them or if you like them perfectly, then go ahead, use them, but try to tweak a setting for yourself so that you feel comfortable with it and you can feel confident with uh, about your camera setting. Now, for my controls, I have, from uh, my controller is an uh, Xbox One Elite controller. So that's like a scuff basically, but Xbox, uh, I think they have like rights to the patent or something like that, so they made their own. But the cool thing that Xbox did with theirs is they added an app that you can download on your PC and on your um, Xbox, obviously, where you can customize like the keybinds, you can change the sensitivity of your triggers, you can change the sensitivity of your sticks, which is really huge for Rocket League, which allows me to do things faster or slower if I want to. And yeah, like it's a pretty great controller. I suggest picking it up if you want to. You know increase your game a bit um, here are my key binds that I have with it my drive forward is B it says B but it's my back paddle um, if you don't have an elite controller I mean I suggest just like keeping it on right trigger um, my boost is right trigger so I just swapped these two here um, which allows me to jump and boost at the same time if you don't have a lead controller, I suggest doing right bumper. So you have right trigger drive and right bumper boost, um, which allows you to be able to jump and boost at the same time. It's a little weird getting used to it. Like when I did it um, originally, I, I had like I cramped up in the first day because it was really awkward on my hands, but it's really efficient compared to having your boost on B and your jump on A. It's just way, way more efficient. Uh, so I strongly suggest doing that if you haven't done that already. Um, power slide is on X for people who have their air roll on left bumper I have mine on left trigger or L1 I should say for PlayStation users as well um, to make your power slide left bumper to match your air roll for me I mean I can't make my power slide left trigger because my drive backwards and my you know my brake is left trigger but if you can, if you do have your, if you did get used to and like, you know, came up on playing on left bumper air roll, I suggest putting your power slide on left bumper as well. Um, so yeah, that's about it for my controls. Um, I'm going to switch over to my video settings. So when I'm recording, I put my texture detail, my world detail on high quality, high, high quality shaders on, ambient decultion on. Depth of field and bloom I take off because I feel like those are kind of like uh, annoying settings to have on. Depth of field does like uh, blurs the screen around the around the corners of the map and stuff to give you a bit more depth. And then bloom makes it so you can see like lights a lot brighter and it gives it like a bloom effect to it. So I don't like that. And then light shafts uh, helps with the lighting in the arena. Um, Lens flares also does that. I'm not sure what the difference is between the two, to be honest. But I mean, you could look that up if you really want to know. Um, dynamic shadows on, which is just the shadows around the map. 
and motion blur I have that off I mean you could put that on um, it's not that big of a deal it's just like blurs your tires and stuff when you're moving um, yeah and I keep weather effects off uh, my anti-alias is on MLAA which I believe is the best one I see that one on like GTA and stuff so I believe that's the best one obviously these three are low being the lowest medium being middle and yeah you know um, <clears throat> my render quality on high quality which is pretty standard and then render detail that's obviously all of these settings here so that pretty much wraps it up for my settings um, what I should add as a note if you do have like a normal controller and not elite controller you could if you want to have a bit more response time on your sticks you can um, instead of having it on 30 which is default you can go between like 25 and 10 10 makes it so you're you can move uh, quite a bit faster and it responds a bit quicker um, while like let's say I'll put it on 30 it's a little bit slower and you can't you just can't do it as fast um, again this doesn't like the dead zone doesn't affect me too much I can kind of put it on whatever because I have sensitive settings on my on my sticks for the, uh, the Xbox accessories app but for anyone who doesn't have a lead controller I suggest tweaking with this and messing around with it until you find something that's comfortable because it does really help compared to the default I, th I feel like they brought it in to kind of um, maybe they did bring it in for dead zone but I think they brought I feel like they brought it in because of the elite controller because people had advantages if they did have it with the sensitivity settings so yeah um, that pretty much wraps it up for the for the sort of tutorial not really a tutorial I'm just kind of giving you guys my setup um, so I hope you enjoy it I'm probably gonna play uh, a game of ones here and put that on there with some music in the background but I'm not gonna be talking over it so uh, stay tuned for my road to grand champion my road to top 100 i'll be doing other series as well just those are the two that are road to top 500 the ones that i've established pretty much so far um, when i do those series i'll try to be more informative and try to like say what i'm doing and try to you know help like limit mistakes for other people as well um, last time that was the first time i did any sort of like live commentary like that and i'm still getting better at it so stay with me and i will get good at this eventually and i uh, hope you enjoy if you did like and subscribe and you can drop a comment down below if you want to give me any suggestions or anything like that on how to uh how to make better content all right thanks Hey guys, I was gonna add a 1v1 to the end of this, but for some reason I can't find a game. I have no idea why. Um, but I hope this uh, sort of tutorial was informative for you, and hopefully uh, you can have a better setup on, on Rocket League now. Um,